So today I have a haul video for you and I'm excited because I know um, at least I love watching these videos and I know probably a lot of you do too and I don't do many haul videos because I don't get to go shopping super often because I'm saving for college a lot. So yeah, anyway, these are just some things that I picked up recently for back to school and it's nothing like super exciting but it's basics that I definitely needed and I thought this whoa what <laughs> i thought that this would be a fun video to share with you girls so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started so one of the first stores that i went to was ulta and honestly going back to school there's just all kinds of things that you can need from ulta but i just kind of needed a couple basic makeup items that i was running out of and cannot function without to save my life so the first one um, is the urban decay d slick makeup setting spray and my camera is kind of washing it out. I'll probably do like a closer um, insert of this, but they changed the packaging. It's so weird. Um, this was obviously in a box when I bought it, but I've used it already, so that's why the box is gone. Um, but this used to be like a super rainbow bottle. I think I have my old one. Okay, so I found the old one, and this is the difference between the two. So it's so crazy. I kind of miss the old packaging because I thought it was so pretty with all the colors on it. Um, but you get the same amount of product. Both of these come with four fluid ounces, which is plenty of product. Um, every time that I buy one of these, they last for like a couple of months and it's so worth it because I cannot function without this. It keeps my makeup in place all day long. And since it is made for oily skin, it really helps to keep my oily skin obviously under control and not so shiny. And this just makes my makeup so much better and I cannot function without it. So when I ran out of my other one, I definitely had to pick up a new one. The next thing that I picked up is also out of the package because I've already used it, and it is my Everyday Liquid Eyeliner, the Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner, and I got this one in Blackest Black, I think. It's very dark. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. So, that is what it looks like. And what I love about this eyeliner is just, just super easy to apply, it's super dark, and it stays on for forever. I never really have it smudge, and it just is such an amazing eyeliner. I totally recommend this if you want to try out a liquid eyeliner, or if you're already a fan of liquid eyeliner. This is just such a great product. I think this is my third or fourth like tube of it, and I cannot do my makeup without it. I just love the way that it defines my eyes and doesn't budge. And the last thing that I picked up from Ulta is definitely a staple. And it is a Burt's Bees chopstick. And this one is in grapefruit. And I have the pomegranate one, but I thought that I would try a new one because they have a bunch of really cool flavors. So I thought this one was going to be pink, but it's actually like a clear color. But it smells so good. Ugh, can't even handle it. Every time I use this, I get so happy because I love grapefruit and this smells just like it and it's fantastic. So if you're looking for a new chapstick, I totally recommend this or any of the Burt's Bees chapsticks. They are so great just to throw in your purse and they do wonders for your lips and kind of moisturizing and everything like that. So the next store that I went to was Rock Room Shoes. And little disclaimer, I did have um, some help from my mom buying these. She wanted to kind of get me some things for back to school and help me out, which was so sweet of her. But the first shoes that I got were actually some Nikes, and they're not in the box anymore um, because I've already worn them. But I got, I think these are like cross trainers or something like that. And this is what they look like. I am so, so obsessed with these because they are so pretty. Um, so this is what they look like. <laughs> they are purple and then they have lime green accents with the little Nike logo and the laces. And I just think these are so bright and so fun. And I am still kind of deciding whether I like these or whether I want to take them back and actually get a different pair because the first time that I walked in them um, my feet kind of hurt a little bit and I wasn't sure if it was because I was adjusting to the shoes or if they're just not the right like build for me I guess so we'll see but um, color wise and everything I really love these shoes I think they're so so cute and um, we'll see if I end up wanting to trade them in um, if you guys want to look these up let me see if I can find um, yes, they are the Flex Trainer 3s, and I'm a size 10 Bigfoot over here, <laughs> um, but I love those shoes so far. We'll see. Um, I'll let you girls know if I end up getting a different pair, but for now, I really do like them, and I'm excited about them. 
And then when you go to Rack Room Shoes, it's really hard to buy just one pair because they almost always have buy one, get one free going on. And so my mom was like, you really should look for a second pair because it doesn't make sense not to. You'll get them half off. And so I was like, okay. So we kind of wandered around the store and I ended up in the Vans section. And I was like, you know what? I have always, always wanted a pair of Vans. I think they're so cute and such a good staple shoe just to kind of wear with casual outfits. And honestly, like 80% of the time I'm wearing casual outfits because they're just so easy and effortless. So I just got the regular like low rise black and white Vans. And I think these are so cute and will go with so many things. So I'm so excited to wear these and they were totally worth it. I think once I got them half off, they were only like 25 bucks, which is so awesome. So I'm really excited to wear these. Then the last store that I went to was Kohl's. And this is honestly one of my favorite stores in the entire world, just because they always seem to have really great discounts on clothes and I can always find the cutest things there. So the first thing that I picked up is a jacket. It's like tangled in hangers. Um, but this is what it looks like. And it's by the brand Sophie, I think it is. Um, it just has the little SO logo. Um, and it's super sheer, like you can almost see straight through it. But it's just a really nice, really light jacket, which will be perfect for like layering under heavier jackets um, for when it's really cold out or for the early fall when it's not super chilly yet, but you still want to wear sleeves. Um, so I just thought that this was a really great kind of basic color. I like how the little, I um, can't remember what these are called, like pull ties, I guess we'll call them. <laughs> Um, someone's gonna comment and tell me how stupid I am and say what they're actually called. Um, but these little guys, I love how they're white and they kind of pop against the jacket. And um, obviously it's just a basic little like hoodie sort of thing, but I thought this was really cute. And it was only like 10 or 15 bucks, so I thought it was totally worth it. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that during the fall time. And then the last thing I got from Kohl's is a pair of kind of like athletic shorts. I think these are technically like cheer shorts. Um, but we're not going to call them that because I am the farthest thing from a cheerleader that has ever existed on this planet. I am not flexible and that would just not happen. <laughs> um, but I think these are just so cute. Obviously you can roll them up if you need to, but they kind of fit me better when they're rolled with the elastic like that. Um, and they're just blue and really simple, but they're so comfy. And I think these were honestly like $3.99. So I could not pass them up because that's so cheap. And I know that I will wear these to go running and just to hang around in my dorm when I want to feel comfy and just whatever. So I knew these would just be kind of very multi-purpose and they seemed totally worth it for the price. I actually bought a second pair in the same color, um, but I can't show them in this video because they're in the wash right now because I already wore them to go for a walk with my mom this morning. So that was really fun and I totally recommend these if you are looking for some good exercise shorts. You really can't be $3.99, let's be honest. All right, and that was it for this little haul video. I really hope that you girls enjoyed this and maybe saw something that you want to pick up yourself. And let me know in a comment below what you need, what one of your essentials is for back to school because I definitely am still going to do some more shopping before I head back. So I'd love to hear what your essentials and everything like that are. So yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe to me if you want to see more videos. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is like freaking out right now. Um, also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. They're always linked in the down bar and I absolutely love talking to you girls. So yeah, I guess that's it. I will see you girls in my next video. Bye. Kinda wish I had the courage, a bit of bravery. So tired of waiting on a man to come and save me. Wishing I had everything or something really hard to admit.